Alright everybody, Stephen Mark Tobin, Sports Music Cars and Chicago Area News. What I wanted to talk about today was a story I'm seeing on Yahoo. The seven dumbest conspiracy theories about the Baltimore Bridge collapse, right? Um, you know, you can obviously, maybe on my site here at Sports Music Cars and you can see the video, two videos that I did upload of it and you can see that there are some comments and stuff like that. But, you know, right here we have in Yahoo, somebody put a little photo montage with, you know, Barack Obama and, and some pictures of the, of the crash, trying to, somehow trying to tie him to it, which of course is ridiculous. Give me a break. So, number one here is, has, is it has a bridge collapse was a Ukrainian plot against America. And uh, it's got some pictures of a couple of guys and the one person has to do with the dolly with the ship itself. And then you see this Ukrainian national over here and somehow they were combined um, together. So that's that's pretty nuts. And then we have another one. There's an alternate, alternate angle reveals the truth of the bridge collapse. And it's a live stream. We've all seen it, right? But now this one here says... It was spread on an account called Cacklebulls, but it's since been deleted. However, plenty of other accounts are still spreading the fake information. So you see this particular angle of this particular bridge here. And supposedly that bridge you see, you're seeing is the you know Francis Scott Key Bridge um, when it went ahead and was taken down. Unfortunately, the little problem is, it is that particular picture that we're seeing here is from a bridge over the Crimea. It's a Crimea bridge over the Karch Strait, and this is from 2022. So, you know, this is what happens, people. Anybody can spread false rumors and do all things. And here's, an, here's another one. The ship was quote unquote hacked, right? Uh, Representative MTG, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the far, far right um, U.S. politician who's always coming up with some wacky conspiracy theory that's wackier than the last one and she's saying right here on twitter you know this is intentional accident you know attack or an accident i mean everybody is going to come up with a conspiracy theory if they think there's something there right people and like i've explained on facebook on some of these things to some people is planes cars trains trucks all manner of mechanically motivated devices do sometimes fail and then when they fail there are crashes and when there's crashes there are damage and there's sometimes death so why are ships all of a sudden not purview to that under that underneath underneath that rubric of basic physics right like if this had been a plane crash and the plane had crashed into it and it shown that it was catastrophic engine failure and the pilot uh, you know, yelled out, Mayday, Mayday, with all these conspiracy theories been there. What if somebody had been driving their car at the time and the car had, you know, had the, the car had lost its brakes and went over the side of the bridge and it damaged the bridge and somehow, you know, would all this be happening? It, so that's what we have problem, people. We have the problem with there are going to, going to be head and be mechanical failures. And just because you don't like the story and you think there's something there doesn't mean you can automatically say, oh, well, ships ships never have mechanical failures. There's nothing wrong. It's got to be something. And if you start out at that premise that there's got to be something, then you're going to try to find yourself. And there's another one here. It said hidden explosive charges. On my one of my videos that I have on YouTube as well on Facebook, I have had several people comment that they thought that they, they were seeing these hidden explosive charges. And you can see right here, this guy here, concerned citizen, holy crap, let's see what the engineers have to say about this. Why would there be flame? Surely metal, concrete, don't spontaneously combust. Obviously, there would be sparks via friction. So people are saying that there were uh, thermite combust charges, just like uh, it's been claimed that happened in 9-11. You can see this screenshot here. Well, guess what, people? All this stuff happening right here is not what this person is saying it is when the ship hit it what this is this is the bridge collapsing into the water and you're seeing all the spray from the water coming up and then you're seeing all the lights in the background all happen to be commingling at the same time so it does look ominous and it does look like you know if you didn't take every piece and put it together 
into one cohesive part and you took everything separate, you could say to yourself, wow, that looks really wild. It looks like, you know, um, flames and metal and combustion and fire. But when the bridge went down, then we all saw the blinking lights. That was because the lights were blinking because the lights were coming at you steady. And as the bridge was coming down and everything was happening, well, this way here was covering the lights back and forth. That's when the lights were blinking and everything. And that's what's happening here. But this particular person, this uh, concerned citizen, is not smart enough, is not intelligent enough to understand what's actually happening here. And he's saying it, you know, flames, you know, obviously there would be sparks for your friction. I mean, this is not obvious at all, but when your mind isn't working properly and you can't connect the dots, then it becomes obvious that there's something going on. But if you watch the video, people, just I've watched the video 10, 15 times easily. And at first I did see something. I'm like, well, what is that? What are those lights going ahead? What are they doing? And then you see everything signed. The lights are coming at you constant. And then when the bridge falls, and you have all the water coming up and everything, and if all the ruckus is happening, those lights are going ahead and they're getting intermingly where they're not going ahead and you're not seeing them and there's sort of like a blinking effect is really what's happening because the lights are getting covered up and not being covered up and coming back at you and coming back at you. And you go ahead and take a flashlight, right? And you shine it against the wall and you shine it against your hand and now there's no light and you go this way. Oh, look at that. Now the, now the, now the wall is completely lit, lit up and then you take your fingers and you kind of go like this and the lights are flickering and doing all kinds of different things because your hands and your fingers are getting in the way. That's the same concept that's happening over here, but this person is too stupid to figure that out so you have all these conspiracy theories and it says here's another one the <laughs> the bridge was too woke incredibly <laughs> the bridge was too woke that anti-white business practices cause disaster i can say to you people that when something happens i have people telling me from the right that there's anti that there's a diversity they'll sit there and say well the reason that this thing happened or this bad thing happened is because we hired diversity because people who are woke and diverse don't do as good a job as the uh, you know plain Jane white people like which of course I am so again people these are just some of the conspiracy theories and it's on Yahoo and I will put a link in the description of this